Welcome to episode three of Outside the Box. I'm your host, Tom Zanelli. Today you're joining me in the boot room, just because the boots are hanging up and just because we don't have a, a game for a week or two, doesn't mean the boys aren't working very hard and we're at the train centre daily, making sure we're prepared for the semi-final of the playoffs. And I'm just saying a massive, massive thanks to all the supporters who were at the Fort Cook Stadium last week because you were amazing and the noise was ridiculously amazing. But today, joining me in the boot room is Lewis Stevenson's boots. Louis, massive congratulations again for winning the Players Sponsors Player of the Year. Bit of a mouthful. And Louis, we'll catch up with you later on in the show. From the boot room to the ballroom. And of course, Scotty Allen, a massive congratulations to Scott Allen for winning the Championship Player of the Year. Mate, you've been phenomenal this season. And of course, a massive, massive well done again. But hang these back up for you, mate. See you. Have them ready for the semi final. Here's what's coming up on episode three. I test the player's knowledge of Scottish words and phrases in a new feature called Do You Ken What I Mean? I get up close and personal with the one and only Lewis Stevenson over a frame of snooker at the ballroom and I test Danny's handling skills in a new game show. Bony. Not a clue. Bony. Beautiful. Something is or somebody's beautiful. I guess Bonnie. Is it good looking, Bonnie? No? Yeah? Hibs are a bony football team. <laughs> yes. Jackie Shan, no? Shane. Nope. Shan. Not a clue. Shan, um, something is unfair, something is, yep. Yeah. What is Shan? Not a clue. Unfair. The ref was well, Shan. Hold well, wits, wish. Hold words. Read. Read. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I swear this is German. How well wished? How we are wished? Don't know how to pronounce this one. <laughs> how to uh, wished? What? Is that swearing? How do you wish? Boys, how, how do you wish? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Wished. Hold well, wish. The football on be quiet. Yeah. Waldi. No. Oh, Yaldi. I don't know what that means. Like, probably, like, if some. It's kind of exclamation. Yalti? Yalti? Not a clue. Not a clue. Yaldi. It's a supermarket chain, is it not? Yaldi. That's what I'd be guessing Yaldi is. Wed. This is E. I. I. Wed. Yeah? No. Yaldi. Wildi. Yaldi. Wildi. Yaldi. 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 I don't know. Nope. It's a derby day. Oh, yell day. Eh? Yeah, so Wage? No. Wage? No. I think means no good or something. Something like that. Raj. I'm not sure what this means, but I've heard Danny Anlin describe as a Raj before. What is Raj? It's crazy people. <laughs> Raj. Okay. Tom. The kit man is a total wage. <laughs> Bahuki. No. Bed hole. Try, try that again. <laughs> Bad hole. Oak. Bulky. Bulky? No clue. No tech clue. Bahuki. That would be like your backside. Bahuke. Is that how you pronounce it? Bahuke. Bahuke. Is that 
Sounds a bit like boogie dance, no? Bum! <laughs> Sit on your boogie, how can he see the game? <laughs> oh my god. No. Boot. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Scottish is so difficult. English is difficult, Scottish is more difficult. Hello, my name's Neil. I'm the Hibernian Club Shop Manager, and you're watching Outside the Box. So in today's frame, we're joined by a very special guest. We're joined by the club's longest serving player. He's played over 250 times for the club. He's just voted to the Championship Team of the Year. He's my favourite player. Of course, it's the one and only Lewis Stevenson. Knowing me, Tom Zanelli, knowing you, Lewis Stevenson. Aha. Aha. How are you doing, mate? You alright? I'm good, mate. I'm Thanks good. for joining me today. I know you're taking the time out of your busy schedule to join me. Oh, that's fine. Looking forward to it. You're a big fan of snooker, mate? Um, yeah, big fan, right? Yeah. Let's see how it goes today. <laughs> well, you're the expert, mate. You can break. Let's get going. So do you get much downtime with the lads though? Do you play a lot of snooker with the boys? Um, I've been here a few times. Um, I'm probably more of a hill guy than a snooker table yeah. guy. Snooker <laughs> table's a bit big for me, right? Like, but... Well, there's a table tennis set through there as well, so... I'm not bad at table tennis, so I always do you know at the training thing, but... <laughs> Personally, mate, I think you've had a great season. Obviously, you've voted for the Champions Team of the Year as well, so it's not just me, but what do you actually think of how do you personally feel the season's gone for you, mate? No, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, at the end of last season, you know, I was dreading. I was dreading coming in after two seasons, but no, I've, I've enjoyed it. The Gaffin Fury has left. The boys have been brilliant. Um, we've been on a great run of form. Always got off a full start, but you know, if, we, if we didn't do that, then we'd have a great chance. And also, you know, I've still got a lot to play. Lou, I know, I know the fans would forgive me if I didn't ask if, uh, if you thought that we could do it this season. Do you feel that we, we could go up this season? Yeah, definitely. Oh, watch the laps, huh? Oh. Oh, by the way, by the way, forget about your answer. Did you see that shot? Is okay? um, no, I don't know, but I've got every chance when I keep on a bomb as says before and uh, still team for that shot. Um, I know, I know you said like, I've heard you speak recently saying like, this is the team that you believe is, is as good as any team you've ever played under. Like, you played like Scott Allen or same kind of ilk as Scott Brown and that kind of. I don't know. Scott has definitely won like the best player in the championship this season. I genuinely think he's one of the best players I've ever played with. He's, you know, he's unplayable sometimes, and you know, it's like that in training every day. And you know, it against you, you can't attack him. Lewis, let, let's talk goals, mate. About that, that celebration at Ibrox. That's what everyone's talking about. How, how, what was that about? Tell me more about that, mate. What do you feel about that? I don't know. Usually my celebrations are terrible. Terrible, but... Um, nah, I don't know. I just think the emotions took over. and I remember a couple of boys, like, running... I can't remember what the game was, but running to the Hibs fans at Ibrox and, you know, what to do the same, and it was... No, it was nice. Uh, it was probably the first goal that was actually like a telling moment in the game. Every other goal I've scored is kind of, you know, I've been winning. Before that, we had been winning, and it was like last minute kind of goals that meant none, but uh, no, it was one I always remember. Um, no, it was actually a decent finish. Two kids? Two kids, I've got a wee boy called Louis, believe it or not. And, uh, Louis Stevenson. Louis Stevenson. Oh, yeah. And uh, a little girl called Luna. She's oh, six months so. Yeah. It's hard work, but not as good. So Lou, I know it's obviously been a bit of a long game. It's not the best skill in the world, but Lou, what, what, does the, what does the future hold for you, mate? Like Once you've won the Scottish Cup, the League Cup, the Champions League with Hibs, like, what, what's the, do you want to be a coach, do you want to be a manager? What, what's, what's, what, how do you, where do you see yourself? Um, I don't know. I have to go. I have to go. I have been thinking about it, but you thinking about it, yeah? It's tough, right? I don't think I, don't, I can see myself as a coach. I don't think I've got the authority or the, something or the charisma, no. I, I don't know, I'm sure it'll be someone out of football, but... I'm 37 now, so I'm going to start thinking, thinking soon, but... Um, nah, I'm not sure, just a, just a quiet life. Just a quiet life, 
<laughs> Possibly not. And this is from a sensitive rate. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what happens. It's a 149, isn't it? One plus seven. Man, that's how good it is. It's a 149. <laughs> 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 Thanks so much, mate. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. 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 And good luck for the rest of the season. Cheers, mate. Welcome to a new game show on Outside the Box. It's called What's Danny Handling? Danny, how are you doing today, mate? You alright? Yeah, good, mate. Pleasure to be here. Are you nervous about what you might possibly be handling? Not at all. Not at all. Are you scared of anything, Danny? No. Put anything that table, I'll guess it. You'll guess anything on the table. So, Danny, yep. the rules are simple. All you have to do is guess exactly what you're handling. You see what we did there. Danny, what are you handling? Here we go. Here's number one. Go for it, mate. That's a full boot. Hey! Is that right? That's right, mate. Item number two, Danny, is on the table now. Off you go, mate. A full frame. A picture. But what's the picture of, Danny? It's me. Mo, try again, Danny. The gaffer. Mo, try again. Scott Allen. No, it's Frank Sauce, so you got it wrong, Danny. Sorry, oh, next one. Frank Sauce. Hebb's legend. Danny, third item is on the table now. A pamphlet. It's a pamphlet. A leaflet. No, keep going. It's a book. What kind of book? I have a program. Oh, knowledge. And who's on the front of the program? Me. Hey! And the next item, Danny, is on the table now. Banana. Banana. <laughs> and the next item is now on the table, Danny. Ten of beans. Why is there into the beans? For coming. For juice and the comings. And the final item is now on the table, Danny. That's a book. The gaffer's book. Are you looking? No, I can't see. Is it the gaffer's book? Hi. <laughs> Decent for me. Is that me? Yeah. That's flames. Thanks, Danny. So. Thanks to all the viewers at home. Thanks for watching, thank you. Thank you, Danny Handlin. Thank you. Cheers, mate. So, that's episode three of Outside the Box. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think, as always, using the hashtag Outside the Box on Twitter. Keep sending in your ideas, because at Prego underscore, T actually sent in the idea for the Scottish phrases, and a massive well done to you, mate, because that feature, in my opinion, was one of the best that we've done. And we actually loved filming it, and loved watching it back in the office. We were in floods of tears of laughter, so keep sending your ideas in. I've been Tom Zanelli, you've been watching Outside the Box, and we'll see you at the playoffs.